For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone as we talk some Wildcat women's hoops here with freshman guard Alexis Mason and the coach Julie Goodenough. Let's start with you, Alexis. Uh, coming off just kind of a frustrating uh, loss to Central Arkansas, and that followed a really exciting win against Oral Roberts when you scored 15 points in the second half. From Thursday to Saturday, obviously the teams are different, but what was the difference in your team's performance, would you say? Um, I feel like like Thursday we came out, we didn't have much intensity, but second half we picked it up, and then uh, Saturday we came out with no intensity again, but we by the time we like tried to bounce back, it was too late to actually get the intensity and get us going. So uh, you are now uh, averaging a little better than 11 points uh, per game, which is tied for third on the team. You're second on the team in assists. Uh, you are, though you're a freshman, you're one of the key contributors. Uh, tell me a little bit about joining a team uh, with so many other freshmen. Uh, was there a pressure? Was there uh, a, a challenge in getting used to a, a brand new bunch of players this year? Um, I feel like it was just like joining any other new team. It wasn't really a challenge getting used to it. It was just learning each other and learning how to play with each other. And like being a freshman, I don't really think it matters. It's just a grade. You just come out and perform how you know how to play. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you played as a freshman in high school too, mm -hmm. right? So this is nothing new, is it? <laughs> not really. T tell me a little bit about the Southland Conference and what you've seen so far from the rest of the league. Um, I feel like we've played some really good teams and. Our coaches keep telling us that we're going to play better teams. Like, it's just going to keep getting tougher and tougher. So um, we just have to keep playing with them and keep hanging. Is it difficult for you? We know you can score. You've led the team in scoring five different times this year. Uh, there are so many offensive options for this team. Is it difficult night in, night out to know that on this particular night, maybe I'm not going to get my points? No, because I know if, if I'm not able to score, I know somebody will step up and like we'll have somebody scoring and you have to play the game like like I don't know the word, sorry. So so you don't you don't mind though if you score twenty six one night and maybe five or ten the next? No, it doesn't really bother me. You'll just dish the rock. All right, coach, let's talk to, to coach uh, to, to you about Alexis. Uh, we've seen her this year go crazy with, you know, eighteen twenty she had twenty six one night. Um, and, and to me, she brings a toughness at the guard spot that, that I don't know that you had necessarily at certain times last year. What has she brought to the team? Uh, you know, I, I think that we've talked about this before, that Alexis is a scorer. You know, she can put the ball on the floor and a uh, real kind of a deceptive ball handler. She's able to change speed. She's got a great crossover. She's able to put the ball on the floor and create a good sh scoring opportunity for herself or kick out to someone else. She's a very good three-point shooter. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you need to guard her honestly every night because she, she has a hot hand a lot. Um, very good three-point shooter, good free throw shooter. Um, she can be our backup point guard anytime we need to call on her to do that, and that, that's where a lot of her assists come from. Uh, she's tough to guard in the point position. We run some sets for her to, to be the scorer when she's the point guard. So, you know, she's a very, very uh, good offensive weapon for us, and she's been a very consistent offensive weapon as well. You, you talk about learning from uh, wins or losses, and, you, and you've done that this year. You told me after the game Saturday that you, you still weren't sure, at least in the immediate moments following, uh, why you had so much trouble against Central Arkansas uh, scoring. They're a very good defensive team. Having seen the film, uh, as you look back on it, you mentioned intensity. Were there any other factors? I think especially after watching film, we saw our lack of intensity mm. was our worst enemy. We watched some film yesterday as a team uh, from that game, and just uh, you know, we just didn't play up to our potential for whatever reason. And we've done a little soul searching as a team, and, and hopefully won't make that mistake again to enter a, a Southland Conference game and not be absolutely mentally and physically ready to play. You know, just all out and exhaust ourselves because this is a very good league yeah, and. Is. Uh, you know, it's interesting looking at the scores night after night. You know, you could try to pick the winner and, and you know, I mean, it's anyone's game at home, on the road. Uh, so, you know, we have got to be just totally prepared, totally ready to go every single night. If you're not ready on Thursday night, Lamar will absolutely hit you in the mouth, won't they? I mean, this is a team that loves, like your team, to, to shoot threes. They shoot them in bunches and they make them a lot. Uh, this is a very good offensive team that Coach Harmony brings in uh, with the Cardinals. What have you seen on film from them? They're very aggressive on both ends of the floor. Um, they really play a lot of five out. They don't have a big dominant post player. And that's a little bit of a mismatch problem depending on the lineup that we have on the court. Uh, it'll be a mismatch for them a little bit as well because uh, you know they're not used to playing 
uh, back to the basket post players in practice every day, and, and we we have some good scoring post players. So uh, it'll be interesting. I think the team that really capitalizes on their strengths the most throughout the course of the game will be the team that wins. All right, ACU two and one in the Southland Conference. Lamar comes in four and two. Should be a good one Thursday night. They'll kick things off with a 5.30 tip-off. For the freshman Alexis Mason and for Coach Julie Goodenough, I'm Grant Boone for ACUsports.com.